Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. Now I'm here to review a brand new highlighter from Becca. This is a limited edition highlighter. Actually, Becca has like two brand new limited edition highlighters out. One is exclusive to Ulta. That's the one I have today. And the other one is exclusive to Becca's website. I'm not sure what it's called, like some quads or something. Now, in all honesty, I was not very enthusiastic about, about purchasing it. Uh, you know because I have three I already have three limited edition highlighters by Becca one is a bronzed amber I think which is very subtle actually not even a medium kind of highlighter so I was quite disappointed with that I think it, it came out like two years ago or maybe I think I think yeah and then there was this rose quartz highlighter which is actually quite good uh, and then there's this prismatic amethyst which came out like a few months ago it was released this year I think for spring or something I'm kind of on the fence about it is a good highlighter but uh, if you if you go overboard with it you it will give like a white cast on dark skin so I'm not like the biggest fan of that particular shade as well so the only reason I bought uh, this shade was because this is uh, exclusive to Ulta and if I didn't like it returning would be very very easy so yeah that's why I bought it and I, that's the reason I didn't buy the other one so um, let's look at the shade that I bought today um, so this is the box that it came in this is it says Becca here and all kinds of triangular kind of shapes going on and then the shade is lilac geode and this is a shimmering skin perfecter pressed um, and you get seven grams of product now in the permanent line uh, Becca offers eight grams of product that's one a gram more but all of the limited edition highlighters you only get seven grams one gram less probably that's got to do with their uh, kind of you know pattern that goes on you know like this 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 triangular pattern that you see is kind of do you see that shift that's true you can see that in person as well it's not like the lights playing tricks or anything it's it's a beautiful shift that you see here so yeah, um, probably mainly because of the pattern, but I can do without a pattern and it, I'd be happy to like uh, get one gram more for the same price. So I'm not sure why maybe that's, I don't know. Anyways, uh, so you get one gram less, but for the same price, which is $38. Um, and this is limited edition and as I said, exclusive to Ulta only. And what else? What else it says in the box? It says this is a creamy luminizing powder that veils skin in a soft pearlized glow with a lustrous velvet finish. Just sweep across the face and apply on targeted areas, uh, including cheekbones, brow bones, and bridge of the nose. So yeah, that's it. I think that's all there is. And this is made in the US. And is it cruelty free? It doesn't say anywhere about being cruelty free, but I think Becca is cruelty free. Yeah. I think it is but here it doesn't say anything about being cruelty free so yeah let's look at the packaging it's very beautiful guys as always uh, it the outer rim of the it's like the spaceship kind of uh, packaging the outer rim is this lilac shade as a uh, name suggests lilac geode is outer rim and the inside you have this stainless steel kind of a finish and it has Becca written all over it and the back you have this and, and the back of the packaging is all completely this lilac shade so yeah the oh sorry sorry about the reflection and it just says uh, there's a sticker which has the name of the shade in it and how much product you get which is seven grams and this is made in US yeah and that's it let's watch this it does come with a mirror as always and let's watch this guy it's a beautiful shift. I think the shift is cool pink. The way they describe this is cool pink to gold shift. But on dark skin, as you said, um, when you swatch it out, you see a lot of gold in it. But uh, personally, when the light hits uh, the skin, that area is kind of, it turns gold. But here I can see where the light doesn't hit in person when, when I look at the mirror I can see that there is a pink tint to it so um, personally I think if you have very pale skin uh, this would look darker on you I think uh, the, the pink tint would be very obvious but since uh, on darker skin it wouldn't look that obvious it kind of gives a blushed look 
like here in the here in the uh, over here you have this call like golden beautiful look and here you have this blushed look so it's actually very very beautiful on dark skin i actually really really like it it's beautiful um what else let's do brush swatches and then i'll talk to you guys about the formula and like compare it with other like very you know the superstar shades from becca's shimmering skin perfectors so that is just one uh you know swipe i just dipped in the pan once it didn't, didn't did not pick up a lot of product so as you can see it is not the frostiest highlight so that's two coats as you can see it do, does build up well so yeah now formula wise there is no chunky glitter in it and as i said that definitely you can see the shift here in the pan and also on my skin you can definitely tell the that there is a shift as i said the the place where the light hits it is golden and it's very very flattering on dark skin and the and the area where the light does not hit i can see a very blushed beautiful pink glow and it's not a it says it's a cool pink so it's not like this unnatural frosty pink it actually flatters my skin beautifully now uh this doesn't have any chunky glitter it's very finely milled and um obviously doesn't give a white cast on dark skin and now um becca has a lot of very 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 metallic frosty highlighters for example becca's opal becca's prosecco pop becca's champagne pop i think these are the like the star like superstar uh, shades in the becca shimmering skin perfecter lines i don't know about moonstone because i haven't used it. it's very very all pearl because both are like extremely light so i've never used maybe they are also intense but out of the shades that i've used on the permanent line these three opal uh prosecco pop and champagne pop these three are extremely frosty highlighters to the point that if you like overdo it especially on dark skin it can look very 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 frosty so you have to to the point that you will have to like blend it and fix it so this is not as frosty as those three shades opal of prosecco pop or champagne pop this uh, like if i give the metallic aspect of those highlighters a 10 out of 10 i would give this like some anywhere between 7.5 and 8 so it's not very frosty but as you can see they actually are very reflective but it's not like frosty you know what i mean uh, i think only when you like use it you would like know know the difference if you have used uh, either of these three highlighters that i mentioned uh, opal prosecco pop champagne pop and then you use especially on dark skin i mean on the uh, when you, after you've used those three highlighters when you use this you would know the difference because uh, this is so easy to manage on dark skin i feel no matter how much layer you apply it just uh, doesn't look crazy it be, just because it is reflective don't get me wrong it is reflective it catches the light and reflects it beautifully but i feel it's not that frosty probably because it's not that light maybe prosecco pop champagne pop and opal are so pale that it looks very frosty and i think they are also more metallic definitely this is not as metallic as those but it does reflect light and uh, so yeah as i said if I give those three highlighters 10 out of 10, I would give this like 7.5 to 8, somewhere like that. That is when you apply it dry. Now, when you apply, I did apply these wet and I feel you can definitely intensify the metallic aspect of this highlighter. If you apply, it, if you like a wet your brush and apply it, you can actually see a noticeable difference when you uh, wet your brush. And that I would say like anywhere between like 8 to 8.5 in terms of metallic aspect uh, I, I would give this with if these are used if this is used wet so yeah i hope i'm not confusing you guys with the you know ranking and everything giving it points but i just wanted to like present uh, like an objective point of view like from my experience of using this product so that's why so yeah i think all in all i really like this product guys just because on dark skin pale and light highlighters light toned highlighters can actually and in the well, light toned and very frosty metallic highlighters um it's quite you, you need to be really really careful but i feel no matter how much layer you apply this does not look frosty at all it gives a beautiful highlighted plus a very blushed look like i said in the areas where you, I, I don't know if you can see here there's a very slight pink tint 
I uh, hope you can see but um, it's really beautiful and I highly recommend this on dark skin because it's like not frosty but it's metallic and it reflects light and it's does not give a leave a white cast and it's so manageable and so easy and so effortless to use uh, and, and at the same time you can achieve like a very metallic look not very frosty look you can definitely achieve a metallic look if you wet your brush so yeah and um, Becca highlighters do have the tendency of like appearing slightly uh, powdery and dry on the skin if you layer products a lot. So I would say the same goes for this as well. So I would, my advice would be probably apply it once dry and see if you like that intensity. And the next step, just wet your brush and go ahead if you want it more metallic because adding more and more product, I think that's the tendency of powder highlighters if you like layer a lot it would like give the appearance of like you know, as if you have like very dry skin and give you a very powdery look very artificial look which is not very flattering so i would just say apply say two to three layers more than that i think you would get like very dry looking kind of a you know appearance so yeah that's it you guys i think i've covered everything uh this is limited edition but you know if you know becca it probably would last long uh, maybe like easily six to seven months or something like that so yeah uh, so I'm keeping this highlighter I'm not returning it I really 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 like it so yeah um, what else I think we covered everything yeah thank you so much guys for watching and please give this video a thumbs up if you liked watching it and please subscribe bye